Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to clean your desktop computer. Uh, this is my HD PC. It's pretty dusty. Uh, I can hear the fans getting high revs and having problems. So we're going to clean out. It's been months and months and months. As you can see, there's a lot of dust buildup on here. Uh, it's pretty obvious to tell dust buildup, buildup on the vents, on the back of the PC. Uh, typical uh, issues that you'll notice when you're having uh, dust problems or things like that. Your computer will start overheating. Uh, it may crash. Let's say you're playing a game or you're uh, <clears throat> rendering out a video or something like that and your computer just crashes randomly without warning. Uh, typically that's the buildup of dust inside the computer. It starts to block the heat sink fans and uh, things like that and it will build up heat and as we all know, heat is the worst enemy of a computer which will make it fail, crash, and cause unneeded wear and tear on your parts. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take apart a computer, give it a good cleaning, uh, real quick, so let's get started. Most computers you'll encounter will typically have these thumb screws on them for uh, removing the case housing. Locate all the thumb screws and remove them. You may need a screwdriver to assist you in removing them. After all the screws are removed, typically the housing covers slide back and then up. So pull back to separate it and then simply lift it off. As you can see inside, we got a lot of dust build up, so we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to remove all that. As you can see here, the fins on the heat sink are absolutely caked with dust. What that does is when the fan tries to pull air through the fins to cool off the CPU, uh, it cannot pull in fresh air, so it will heat up the CPU in the bottom, and that's what causes your computer crashes, as well as your input, your intake fans, and also your outtake fans. So you want to make sure everything gets cleaned off, all the dust is removed, and that will make airflow easier through your case and it will keep things cooler, which is gonna alleviate a lot of your crashing. If you have an external video card that has cooling fans, typically in a tower PC case, the fans are facing down, so you'll have to remove the video card to clean it off. In this particular case, uh, our, fan is fa our fans are facing sideways towards us, so we can remove that. Also make sure to alleviate any dust that might be built up on any cables. Another great tip, uh, in your computer is to use zip ties and really try and bundle your cables up and out of the way as much as possible to increase airflow. Uh, the less things in the way, the less dust is going to get built up and the better your computer is going to run. So use zip ties, tie up your cables, try and keep them out of the way as best as you can. As far as cleaning tools go, you can go to the hardware store and pick up a precise toolkit attachment for a vacuum. I prefer to use a shop vac and the precise tools that will help suck out the dust in small places. Once you're ready to go, begin using your precision tools on your vacuum and start sucking out uh, all the dust that's built up on the fans to your heat sink. Try and get as much of it as possible uh, once you've gotten it to the best of your ability. Go ahead and switch over to the brush attachment and it will help loosen up some of that dust that's stuck and uh, doesn't come off easily with the vacuum. Be sure to get all the dust that's built up on your fan blades and on the case housing. Uh, in the back and the front intake and outtake and if you have side fans. Be sure to get the rear I.O. ports and make sure that you don't miss any dust on the case in general. You don't want any of the dust buildup to affect any of your rear connections. After you have vacuumed out your computer and think that you've got most of the dust, go ahead and turn your vacuum or shop vac on below and proceed to use the fine attachment tool and blow out all the areas you vacuum. This will push out a lot more dust. I recommend doing this outside if you're sensitive to allergies or dust or doing it in a room with proper ventilation uh, just to, to stop all the dust from kicking up in your face and causing problems. So once you have that, go ahead and put it on blow and then proceed to blow out everywhere you vacuumed. And after that, you guys are all set. Simply reassemble your computer dust free and you should have silent, smooth operation without any crashing. Uh, if heat buildup was your issue due to uh, dirty, dirty heat sinks and fans and things like that. So I recommend cleaning your computer at least every month to three months, depending on your area, how much dust is in that area, how much it builds up in your computer, how much you use it. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the vents when you see the dust build up and you know it's time to clean. So thanks for watching guys. Hope this helped you out. Please like and sub and check out my channel for other tutorials.